Hello, welcome to another episode of the 1878 FM podcast on a Monday when Everton have won an away game. Ten, over ten months since we were able to last say that. But it happened. Mm. It happened. And what was the what was the similarity to the last time it happened? Michael. Big Mike. Vincent Keane. I yeah. don't know if that's a second. I don't name. know. I just feel it just feels like the right the right middle name. Fair play. He looks like Fair a Vincent, play. doesn't he? He mm. does, he does. But he was on the score sheet. We won 2 0 against the team that'll probably be relegated. There you go. I think you've seen it and it's stuck, but well done. Uh but yeah, good win. Good win. Lads. Much nicer, isn't it, a weekend when Everton win a game of football? Just feels like a better world, doesn't it, I think? <laughs> you know, I think a lot of the pressures that we normally kind of struggle under seem to be lifted, <laughs> at least for a sort of temporary respite. So, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, I'm in a better fettle. I thought they thoroughly deserved it. Uh, I agree with you. I'd have to worry as an Ipswich fan when we've got them comfortably put two past them. You know, in terms of their likelihood of survival this season. Um, but yeah, no, thoroughly deserved. There was no questions for me whatsoever. And uh, very much enjoyed and much needed three points on the road. Sam? Yeah, yeah, it was it was fab. For me, it was more the fact that we're now four games unbeaten. That's just mm. such a great mm. feeling. And I've just been dancing around the kitchen. Not like full on dancing, but just, you know, the odd little mm. shimmy. Mm. Just thinking. Did you have that? Rather fetching onesie that you you let everyone see the other day, you know, we you close up of this is Sam and I'm back on social media. Did you have that on? Because that was a rather I, fetching I, I did, image of you. No, but I was gonna I was gonna wear like a superhero cape and stuff okay. and like okay. make it really dramatic. But I'm, yeah, I'm mm. I'm waiting for Amazon to deliver that. So okay, fine. I'll, uh, <laughs> I'll, 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 so you're not on Prime. Yeah. It's not. I'm not on Prime. No, I don't <laughs> want to give money to the man. Okay. You know more than I do already. The anyway, man. so. Yeah. <laughs> But I was just looking at the league table as well and thinking, and I know it's like it's not good for your brain to think this, but nope. that Bournemouth game is still painful. But mm. because we've moved away from that game and the Villa game, even when we were two 0 up now, because we're you know we're a couple of games removed from that, I feel like the confidence in the fan base is just bubbling under a little bit. Maybe confidence is the wrong word, but kind of the belief that we're not going to give a, a two goal lead away. So um, two 0 up, and I, I I thought we were quite comfortable. Mm -hmm. Very comfortable. Yeah. No, very, very comfortable. I think. I think the confidence. Um, I think the confidence comes from watching other teams play <laughs> and realizing there's some there's teams that are a lot lot worse than what we you know we are put put down as in in lots of times. There are lots of uh, lots of poor teams, and and I think on Saturday we what we did was we demonstrated all of our Premier League experience. You know, and, and mm. when, when a lot of teams come up, there's a lot of fuss, isn't there? There's a lot of noise about them and they go out and spend a lot of money. But you have to look at a lot of the plays they do buy. And you look at you look at um, the Ipswich side on Saturday and there was very little Premier League experience in it. And it does make such a difference having, whether you like them or not, with having your Ashley Youngs, your uh, Decores and Garners in midfield, Michael Keane at the back, having that, you know, you looked at our team on Saturday, and I think bar two players, I think every single one of them was a had been a international or is a current international. Mm. We had a decent team as well, not just like you know, yeah. not a decent sides as well. I think there's only Jack mm. Harrison and Dwight McNeil who are not full internationals. Everyone else has played for England or Ukraine or or, or Senegal, who are obviously one of the mm. top teams in Africa. Um, and that does make a difference, and you can see you can see that in the way we played that game on Saturday. There was a and going back to that Burnley game was probably the last time we actually had the same kind of feeling. Mm. There was a professionalism to the way we played, um, and the second half was pretty much a non-event because we shut the game down really, really well. And I don't, I know it doesn't happen mm. very often, but I thought that was the difference on Saturday, and you can see that that's what whether people like him or not, that's what this manager is actually quite good at against lower, lower, lower teams or teams that have come up. I think I don't think I think he's lost something like two in thirteen, something like that against teams down there. So he's he's good at getting. That's why he's good at, at getting a, a team to the position where of relative safety because he knows how to handle these teams. So um, it was a it was a thoroughly professional performance. Yeah, it was it was comfortable. I thought the last twenty. We allowed them in the game, and the actual when you look at the attack threat data you get, Everton basically didn't 
get off their own half in the last 20 minutes. Mm. Um, and if they, well, they didn't score, have a shot on goal until 80 minutes, did they? Yeah, that was if the corner, if that's your corner goes in, you're, in, you're back in the realms of hanging on. But we didn't, and it was fine. We should have, the only gripe you'd take is we should have killed the game off. We mm. missed Dominic Calvert Lewin, mm. missed a half full of chances that mm. we should have took at least one of them, and it would have been a more comfortable afternoon. But I thought he played well, he played well from start to finish, and did have there is this misconception, and a lot of it is through our own fan base as well. That, this team isn't very good and can't play any kind of football. It's nonsense. When you look at it's easy to get carried away, in my opinion, with other teams and players other teams get. You know, we heard it with the likes of Sammy Smodic, no disrespect to him, but the last 29, you had one good season mm-hmm. in the Premier League, eh, sorry, in the Championship, and everyone was mm. fuming. That Everton didn't go and buy him. It's not like, for that money. not even getting an Ipswich team. Mm. You've got to, these players that have this, he's just one. You know, the what the ironically the fella who was linked with us in Ipswich side did have Premier League experience and didn't have a kick of the football. Mm. Calvin Phillips yeah. mm. hardly touched mm. the ball. He's give know. up on life, hasn't he? He's just mm. that it's the hair. Yeah. Um, you know, really I thought he was really poor on Saturday for Ipswich. There's loads of I mean, how is how his star has dropped, eh? Mm. I say I said and that. And by the way, and I take no I take I take no I take no pleasure in that whatsoever. I've got nothing against him, but in no, terms of no, where you either. saw that he was as a player with such potential in front of him and I think just perhaps just the wrong moves. Maybe not all mm. necessarily his fault, but I think he's just he's just ended up at the wrong wrong place at the wrong time, hasn't he? You mm. know, and it had a real detrimental effect on his career. Yeah, definitely. Sam? I'm just surprised at how many like you've you've talked about quite a lot on this channel as well. Just how many bang average teams there are in the division because you know, I know this team that we've got perhaps haven't played as well as as the potential is there for. But if we'd have held on against Bournemouth and maybe held on against Leicester when we perhaps should have won that game and seen it out and perhaps made it more boring like we did at, at times against Ipswich, mm. just yeah. kill the game and just turn it into like what you said, Ped, a non-event, which is what you should do when you're 2-0 up. Just mm-hmm. it's, it's not about making it a spectacle for the fans, is it? It's about getting the three points. So if we'd have held on against Bournemouth... And beat Leicester. I've, mm. I think I've worked out we'd be seventh right now. Mm. Oh, thanks. It's kind, of, it's kind of, it's kind of farcical, though, isn't it? Because we've just <laughs> spent the whole season moaning about having a terrible start. You might as well have just waved some Disney tickets in front of me or something. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Just go, oh, but do you know the, the table is still very congested, and I think yeah. you know, get this run of form, keep it going, and you know, because even if we can get up to like tenth, eleventh, that'd be absolutely mm. buzzing. Mm. Mm. It, it is that everyone does forget. It's only three it points away. That's the thing. Uh, that's mm-hmm. the thing. And for, you know, yes, there's four or five really good sides in this league. There is. They don't undeny, you know, there's some of the Liverpool, Man City, Arsenal are tremendous football teams. They are. They're really good. And then after that, you've got the likes of Chelsea and Spurs, good sides. Then, you know, we saw Newcastle the other week. They're, they're all right. They're not amazing. And they're a team pushing Europe, Brighton. Brighton are doing really well, mm. but you're looking, they're not amazing. But then a lot of the teams are much of a much, and that's what I'm saying. Then there's the three promoters. I think, I think a lot of it comes down to, and I think this is what we have suffered from, is a lot of it comes down to squad size, doesn't it? And mm. the um, the uh, general ability across the entire squad, and obviously that's what notable on Saturday. You had, had, they used their 26th player. Exa- the well, I'd li- I, I, on Saturday, and I, don't get me wrong, I understand why, but I would have liked us to have maybe have made one more sub, and that would have probably been taking Michalenko off and, and swapping Ashley Young over maybe for Seamus Coleman, mm. but then that's a lot of faffing about, isn't it, for one thing. But I just... I think they were getting a lot of, a little bit of joy down the right-hand side late on as Michalenko tied, and I think that's... That's where I've always had a, a gripe with the manager is his in-game management. But he'll look to the bench and see who he's got and decide. I mean, we had three right backs and she had a tough, had a tough dom off the and last three got, Well, I, I wouldn't off. I would, I would never. Yeah, but that's no, I'd, I'd me. But that's per, no, that's a personal. Yeah, I'd, I'd never take him off for better. I just think, I think that yeah, I, I get your point. I just, I just don't like changing the shape. But I. The squad is... And Dom so, desperately needs game time and it needs goals as well. That's the other thing I'd say on that front. Yeah, but I understand I Baz's point because... The all with no defence, he wouldn't have scored. I, I understand Baz's point because Beto mm. um, might have got a goal, but I just don't like changing the shape. And I think Beto does change. If Chimiti being on the bench, then I would have mm. put Chimiti on, of course. But but um, 
I just think that's where we're lacking, aren't we? Where other teams, that's where those other teams are marginally mm. better than us. It's because the, the starting eleven, there won't be loads of difference. Mm. Obviously, be, be a little more bit more quality. It's who they can bring on the bench, off the bench. Sorry, it's 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 a like for like player. And at the moment, when you get into those last twenty minutes, and as Sam alluded to before, the the Villa game. Really, you know, it is the last 20, 20 to 25 minutes of making changes and those changes making a ch- making coming in and making a change. Because even on Saturday when we when we brought when Garler on, he really struggled yeah, to, to make an impact too. in the game at all. He gives mm. a foul away straight away. And you'd like to bring him on maybe 10 minutes earlier. Mm. And again, I go back to the Bournemouth game. And I think that was a big argument in that game of bringing someone actually before the drama starts yeah, happening, yeah, yeah. like getting hold of the game before it actually needs getting hold of. Um, so it would have been nice if maybe one made one more sub, but the manager probably looked at his bench and gone, "How can I change this? I'll just trust what I've got." So that that is where the difference in the league comes from, isn't it? You know, I don't know. You look at some of the sides and you think they've got a little bit more quality on the bench, and that's about going forward now in the next year or so and starting to add. Well, don't forget, we have got you know if we had if, if he could have looked along the bench and seen it a boon him, mm. uh, James Garner. Armando mm. Breuer, Yusuf Chimiti, these kind mm. of Jada Plant, you know what I mean? These kind of players, he might have got. We got Breuer. <laughs> <laughs> no, but Ooh. the thing is, you know they, I mean? they make, I forgot they about make him. five. They make five changes, though. yeah, yeah. Um, and that's if you look at if you correlate that to the way the game went the last twenty. That was lit- yeah, simply that's the freshness, that's and the that difference. at that moment, Everton should have been four nil up, so it shouldn't have really mattered. But it wasn't. It was two, and like we're saying, if that quick corner where he hits it into the floor if that ends up in the back of the net all of a sudden you're going here we go again with 10 minutes left their crowd would have got up it didn't so it's fine mm-hmm. but it is just those moments and that's why i probably would have because i actually thought more than any other game recently saturday would have suited better because he would have been up against championship defenders and mm. we dom was getting a bit of joy running in channels against them mm. he was the face of the ball but I get, I understand why he didn't, but I just think fresh legs there just kills games as well. Um, and when we haven't done that, teams have found a way back in. And Bournemouth was the was the killer, wasn't it? Because that really was. He just threw everyone on Ariola with any any kind of plan. It was just run around and see what happens, and and they overcome. But it didn't matter because we kept the clean sheet. Um, but what a goal by Michael Keane, lads! What a goal. The fella who was far more composed in mm. the opposition's penalty area, than, although he did have a good game for us at the weekend, but that was some finish, wasn't it? It's beautiful. I thought they both were, to be honest with you. I thought they both were. Mm. I thought Ndai took his goal great, but mm. Kings was better again. I mean, just the the angle to actually get that where he did, the, the power and the accuracy and everything was inch perfect, wasn't it? So it was a fantastic strike. I mean, it was a strike that anybody would have been happy with. And by that, I mean, you know, somebody who's an out-and-out striker mm. would have been absolutely delighted with that connection and that finish. Um, but yeah, he did He he did brilliantly. I loved it. I love both goals, just like leathered in the back of the net. There's nothing <laughs> more satisfying, is there? Just both just bam, just in. And yeah. Keane's goal in particular, he just... It, it was such control the way he hit it. He, he leathered it, but he sort of he knew knew what he was trying to do with him because he's mm-hmm. such a good finisher. And it kind of it just sort of put under the spotlight how bad Dom's finishing was in that game. And yeah. I don't, I, I mean, I've always liked Dom, and I think his hold up play, especially on Saturday, was yeah, great. He did have and a I good game. Just couldn't when finish. he's when he's up for it, he's mm-hmm. he's really he's great at just leading the line on his own, mm-hmm. which is is hard. Mm-hmm. But I think Saturday was kind of a um, it was almost like a. His Everton career in a nutshell. He's he showed his potential, what he's good at, and he showed perhaps his frailties, and perhaps he showed the reason why he's been at Everton for so long and he hasn't been snapped up by anyone further up the league because he's he he doesn't seem to be consistently be able to finish it. Could we not with Halloween coming up? Could we not sort of take part of each player and just sort of combine some kind of Frankenstein <laughs> like Dom's hold up play, Michael Keane's finishing, mm. um, Decorey's engine, mm. um. Mikhalenko's hair. I don't know. I haven't thought this through. But yeah. The you were going so well. <laughs> but it, yeah, that is an interesting point. That if you could make that. But he, it is we Dom is we because I thought he actually had a really good game as a striker from a centre forward perspective. And yeah, yeah, yeah. A couple of people have picked me up on this, but I don't think they've understood what I'm saying. Is that like when I like more, I obsess over could you my imagine, strikers? Could you imagine Dominic Carvalho with Tim Cale behind him? Yeah. Um, would, 
That would be perfect. No, that'd be, that'd be perfect. Oh, well, it is, isn't it? But that'd what be... I'm saying is that the actual, he, everything he did, I mean, it sounds stupid because he's a striker, but everything he did away from trying to finish chances off was brilliant. Mm. Che- great chest control, powerful running, put them under pressure. It's just a final decision touch. making, though, isn't it's it? That it's that decision making's woeful. It's, 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 there was the first one in particular was just crying out for me just to quickly go one side of the keeper and slot it in right think, foot. Just think it. It's just. Morris well, he, down. Ball, he just but, lays but, down. But it's he just, just he little... did the one oh. thing that it was yeah. gonna, you know. He doesn't seem to have like, he doesn't seem to have any variation in what he wants to do. Like mm. both of the finishes that he missed the one on ones, he tried to do that thing. He tries to give the keeper the eyes mm. and come on the in, and go on the inside of him, yeah. and the keeper's it's caught. too narrow the angle. But that's the thing. But I've seen him do that loads and loads of times. It's like he doesn't have. He doesn't have a big enough skill set when when he gets some Villa last oh, year at home when he raced through the, the same finish. The be, well, it was and he scored away. He scored no, with that he finish. Scored, he scored with that but same the one finish. At home against Martin. But that's what I'm saying. He, he keeps on that. trying to do the same thing mm. because he doesn't have a big enough skill set. He doesn't mm. have the dink over the goalkeeper. He just hasn't got that. And I think that's that's the problem with Thomas. I mm. think actually there's a weird like there's a weird thing with both him and Keane. With Keane being a striker as a kid, mm. you can see yeah, that he will have practised the natural finisher in him. Mm. And then maybe the other sides of his game weren't there, so we got put at centre-back. And Dom has got all those things we've just talked about. He runs well into channels. He, he holds, a midfield player, he holds the ball up really mm. well. He actually understands football really, really yeah, well yeah. about how to bring other people into mm. the game. But he's, fin- he, he's not a natural no. finisher. Because ironically... The one he done best was was the one that McNeil chipped into it. Was it McNeil or Harris? McNeil it was. He took a touch, swivelled, knit it, and yeah. it another foot to the right of Murray. It was a great yeah. goal, but it yeah. was too close. Yeah. But again, even that one, he didn't have to think. But even that one, though, he's almost hitting it in a safe space where mm. he believes it's going to, where it may be like a, a proper like top a draw striker. It's it right across, and has total faith yeah. that he's going to hit the bottom corner yeah. to where you need it. And I think that's it with Dom a long t- a lot of the times. He mm. does think and thinks, I've just got to get this on target, or mm. I've got to. And, it, and unfortunately, and it, you d- obviously, there is lots of criticism, and I, I understand the criticism, but sadly, at the club right now, there are no other options mm. till Chimiti comes back, mm. Brozier comes back. And we get this little pool of like them competing with each See, other. Ironically, I actually think better would have finished. He might not got there in the first place, but I think he'd have finished. Well, he might, he might have. He, he has, he has got clever finishes, better finishes than Dom. But he doesn't do the other stuff, which is why no. he's not on the team. No. And, and the managers made his mind. And the managers up, made his mind up. So that's that's where we are. But overall, yeah, I thought he played really well, and I thought it, just it was a very, very like I think you said before, very, very professional performance. It it was if you do have that little takeaway, it was a bit like oh, we should have won that by more. It's that little mm. thing of like we did have presentable chances. Even the one in Jaidan threw with in the second half, and he had Dom to the right of him. He should have had to play Dom in. When he holds on to it, he ends up with sort of just trying to guide it past Murrock, and there's no real conviction with it mm. with his left foot, but you know, there was other ones, wasn't there? Things bobbled around in the box, and there was one that Dom done nearly well with, and he aimed for the core, and it was a brilliant bit of defending in the six yard box. Because if the lad misses it, the core, he's got a tap in at the far post, and the lad throws himself at it and somehow scoops the ball away from at the line of the core. It's those moments where Saturday it didn't matter in the overall mm-hmm. picture because we won it. And it, it'll be key in games where it's nil nil. We have to make sure that we're taking those chances, or if we're one down, we can't pass up. We can't be pl- prolific in front of goal like that. Um, if we can get them, obviously you get those things. Right, you don't ever struggle, and mm-hmm. that, that's where we are. And that's where prob- other teams are, are probably do better than us because yeah. they do take those chances when they get them. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. But it was a win, and it's I think. Uh, was it Sam said before? It's four games unbeaten now. We've obviously got Fulham at the weekend, and they've lost Anderson. He'll miss the Everton game, which is a big, big thing for them. Um, we've got them. Then we've got Southampton away, mm-hmm. which we should be going and winning as well. Mm-hmm. And then obviously we go to West Ham. Who? Mm-hmm. It's a tricky game, of course it is. But it's mm-hmm. I watched them at Spurs at the weekend. The first half, they looked like they were riding the game. And then Spurs blew them away, and they looked like they didn't mm. they didn't know what it did them second half. And obviously, Kudus, who's their, their big spark, he's out for three games now. He's trying to box everyone, wasn't he, uh, at the weekend? So, 
you know, three teams think Southampton lost Ryan Fraser as well. So the three teams well, are playing. Southampton next. completely capitulated on there on Saturday, mm. and it's funny mm. how quickly football changes your mindset because I watched them. They were two 0 up. They lost three two to Leicester right at the end. I was listening to mm. on the radio. And uh, I just thought, we used to do that. And it was only four weeks ago we used to do that. <laughs> we have to we do feel that like we've completely changed. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to actually getting down there to play them this time. Mm. They look so fragile. It's, it's a I think Russell Martin will be gone soon as well. Do you? Yeah, I can't see yeah, I him. Wouldn't, I wouldn't sack him. Gee, what, making much you, longer. His hair's no, too nice. His hair's good and he has got a bit of a beard. I think the problem is mm. we, we sort of... <laughs> They feel like Sheffield United last year, Southampton, to me, yeah, in yeah. a way that they just haven't got the, in my opinion, they just haven't got the quality that what they're trying to do. But and they, but they haven't spent a ton of money mm. trying to correct no, it. No, that's it. So therefore, I always feel like these managers what? who get them up are on a, they're on a hiding to nothing, aren't well, they? They get promoted. Weird. And then... They don't get back. No, but what's what weird is, what's weird is, is you know, you just mentioned getting rid of them, but you wouldn't sack the Ipswich coach, would you? And that's the that's the weird no. thing, isn't it? Mm. That's the weird thing. It's like mm. there's almost like that because Southampton have been a Premier League club. There's like almost like that bias towards, oh, they they should go and get someone who's a little bit bigger. But I'd leave him in charge the same way you'd leave Keenan McKenna in, in charge because, yeah, what's the does you know they'll. they'll They'll bob along and then no one's expecting them to stay stay up and they'll go down and probably build to come back up again. Mm. I think that's where Sheffield United missed the tick last mm. season because the you know the fella he sacked is doing a really good job of pressing now. Mm. Um so I've got nothing against Chris Wild and they're doing well, aren't they? They're up yeah. there as I know the Leeds beat them at the weekend, mm. but still I think they're still top three or four and Wild is a great this, that is, at well, that has level. this suddenly become a football podcast? Yeah, sorry. <laughs> No, it has, just, isn't just, it? Just, just I want to know. I want. That. I want to know about Dave's teeth more we'll, than we'll, anything. We'll go on to Dave's teeth right now, then. So, but Leicester. I mean, I think Leicester <laughs> will go. I really do. But Dave had. What's this got to do with Dave's teeth? Back to back wins. Well, this is it. Dave's this teeth won't it. go. Hopefully, they'll. they'll, they'll hopefully, well, Dave's, Dave's teeth very not, much not, like not. Manchester. Like Manchester City will be wearing the crown soon. I don't know. Where hey. really hey. I mean, you could just do the sound effect if you want. <laughs> Thank you. There you go. All right, Dave. Come on, come on. Why, why is the teeth chatter in the pod? Explain. Did you teeth mean chatter? Like chatter that. Is that is the the teeth. Um, why is the teeth chatter in the pod? Because I had to go to the hygienist this morning, which is one of my least favourite mm. hobbies, yeah. pastimes. Yeah, uh, I Hobby. think he would say. Yeah. Um, and so yeah, I had to go there and and have an hour's worth of scraping and oh, drilling oh, and oh. and eventually polishing. The polishing bit's all right. It's one of those things. It gets progressively better as the time mm. goes on because yeah. all the horrible stuff happens first, I and then the it. the tools with which she scrapes around in my mouth get more and more soft and friendly yeah. as yeah. we This sounds the like a trip to Amsterdam. What's going on? <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, it is. It's, it's been cheaper, it's, I think. It's, I was going to say Amsterdam would have been cheaper than this yeah, yeah, because definitely. I appreciate the private dental care is expensive these days. And we were talking before, mm. it cost me 160 quid um, for the privilege of being poked and scraped around. And she's lovely, right? I've got nothing mm. against her. She's really good. She's a good laugh and she's good at what mm. she does, but it's a lot mm. of money, isn't it? He's a good laugh. It's a lot of money for something that's not no, fun. She, she's, a nice, she's a nice mm. person. Okay. I bet she is. She's taking 160 quid off you an hour for scraping your teeth. Yeah. But yeah, no, yeah. it is. Yeah, but you wouldn't want to do that job though, would you? Because mm. I don't care how much you get paid. The, the people that come in, Dave being the exception, obviously, mm, of the course. people yeah. that come in who just like stink and like all yeah. sorts <laughs> going on in the mouth. And I mean, I, sh oh. I shower every time I'll before. Be honest, I, I don't yeah, think you can afford to, to stink if you're paying 160 yeah, unless you can't it's afford it's soap. Maybe I put I brush my teeth six bed. times as well. You know, yeah, you clean your teeth. I mean, yeah. What, hang on, is this, a, is this a thing that people do, sorry, before they go to the dentist? It's a, do they overdo yeah. their oral hygiene? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why, though? Know? I don't... Mm -hmm. Because people are well, going to have their hands in the mouth. Yeah, <laughs> know, and what? also what, you're, tr what, you're, what you're trying to do is you're trying to make up for the previous six months where you haven't actually done everything that she was telling you to do. And then literally on the morning of, and you kind of like go, doing your homework she's like, have you been, have you been yeah. using those TP brushes? And I'm like, oh, yeah. Oh, day. All day, all day I've been using yeah. them. Every day. See, I have do use them. Right. I haven't told... used them at all. 
I was told to use them. They're horrible. And, and oh, I was told to. I have different sizes and everything. I was told oh, to use them. Different and I use, for different sizes. Oh, of course. Yes, I'm a flush. Uh, but have you got like a, it's like a caddy bag for like playing golf? You got all different like I've wedges. Got a, I've, got, I've got like little, I've got like a little uh, tiger thing just to put on top of it. <laughs> um, no, I have all them, and and mm. and they are they because the, my the dentist I last seen it was a while ago now. Mm. Uh, he 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 was a viewer of Toffee TV, so he was really nice, and he was uh, he was yeah you got to and then he was like you haven't been using them have you? Well, and I was no what and sure. I was like no and he went you've got to start using them your gums are inflamed and this mm. and that and the other and I went I've got to talk about Evan of course they're inflamed mm. I'm all inflamed <laughs> human torch mm. um, and then they went back and he was like yeah you've been using them so I, I use them There's that's no, good you've got, 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 got to you you've got to you've got to you know floss yeah but them it's at the horrible I thought you just stand there doing the art yeah I'm just there giving it all isn't there an argument to be made to say that the day you go to the dentist you should just make your teeth as minging as possible and get your money's worth if it's 160 quid just on the way to the dentist in the changing room not the changing room that's a different thing in the waiting room the waiting room stretching warming up you're eating what's it and beef jerky and all sorts and beef jerky I don't know, oh, anything that sticks I mean, in your teeth and makes you... What, what, what sits in Monster Munch are the worst thing for dentists, aren't they? Oh, I mean, I, I wouldn't want to go anywhere near anyone's mouth anyway, but no, not even it's not even the pickled onion aspect. It's just those those kind of crisps that just sort of just yeah, integrate and stick around in your mouth. mouth. Mm, coagulate, yeah. that's a good word. Oh, like like, 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 oh, like mm. wambas. Wambas. Okay, Has anyone really? ever had They're like still around? Then. They are still around, of course. Sure, yeah. sure. While children have teeth that need removing. Where are they? Where'd you In get them? Shop? No, they're not. Who I've never they been a one bar. I haven't seen a one bar. You don't go in one bar shop emporium. Maybe. Yeah. Has anyone ever been had, a one bar like, since Andrew Ridgely left? Yeah. Exactly. Uh, do, do your dentists have the old magazines like they used to? Because mine doesn't anymore, and I used to no. enjoy that aspect of it. You know, no. looking at like Cosmopolitan from nice golf, golf world. Yeah, because it'd be mm, something like the dentist. My dentist's got like tellies on the wall, and, Ooh, and uh, someone's doing bottles well. Of wa- well, the yeah. eye, sixty pound an hour, a bottles of water in the fridge. So <laughs> Matthew come back for it the first time he went to him was like, I was getting me teeth done. They had a telly on the ceiling. He went, uh, get rid of the tellies and charge me. He was fume, charge me less. He's right. Mm. Go in, it's all great and all, all lovely. Yeah, no mate, stop charging eight million pounds to get your okay. teeth polished. Has um, anyone had any, like, I was going to say, has anyone had any like tooth incidents like away from the dentist? Because I was just think, no, I'll tell you now. So when I was on the cabs, yeah. I had a, I was having something to eat, and I had a bit of a wobbly. It wasn't wobbly at the time, but it wasn't wasn't in great condition. To see. And I got a fit, mm. and this tooth just literally dropped out of my head. And I Shut suddenly up. found myself going really, really faint because of it. And I had to just pull over. And the taxi you shoot, dropped out. You know? Honestly, were you, taxi... were you POB at the time, Ped? <laughs> I don't know what that means. Person, passenger yeah, you, on board, you, then. Okay. You worked okay. in cabs. You know I, what we POB don't use means. Stupid <laughs> terminology like that. We didn't use. I've like. I work. We didn't talk. You didn't get. <laughs> got Charlie Tangle. There's a job at the uh, ice <laughs> one for you. Jay, well, they always say they always say I'm I'm P O B. No, P-O-B. we don't have this. Uh, we see this, be three in ten minutes. Again, Over. this is the dif- This is the difference between working in the sticks to working in a big city, Dave. We mm. don't. We did. We didn't have to talk to anyone. But I had. To, we had like a thing. The taxi company had like a button on the wall in the in. It was in Whiston. And uh, you could where you could press the button and you could order a cab. Mm. So I literally had to just drive over and uh, just drop this fella off. I mean, just go and get another cab, mate, because I can't see here. I was literally just properly. I don't know why, but it just it made me go really, really faint. This it was just, mm. but it wasn't because it was it wasn't blood or anything. It was just mm. this tooth just literally just dropped out of my head. And it was. Uh, Did it... they go under your pillow for the two fifty? Oh yeah, I got it. Uh, I, I got fifty pence for it. That's one hundred and sixty right. quid. He got. <laughs> yeah, got to add to the hundred and sixty quid. That's what they've mm. got him. We were we were talking the other day. <clears throat> My daughter, not about teeth. Moving on from teeth. Seems we a were, shame. We were at, it does. We were having a laugh about different things. You know, people going on these shows and uh, you know having imposters on these shows of like while well, we were talking about the bake off but she did she brought something up ages ago uh, I don't know whether I've mentioned it but I started laughing again because it, it did it's just a brilliant premise so I apologise if I've already discussed this but I'm going to discuss it again so we were talking about the shit Olympics right this is like mm. she thought it was hilarious so the shit Olympics basically is like jury service oh, right yeah. 
So the Olympics are coming up and you get a letter through the post, right? And that letter through the mm. post tells you what event you're going in. So you've got no real prior sort of, you know, oh. you're not a 100 meter runner. You just might be paired from Toffee yeah, yeah. and you've got to run in the 110 meter hurdles. Well, you reckon mm. that would be, that would make a really good games. No, it'd like give a Dave, lot of context, wouldn't it, to like the world amazing. records? Exactly, it'd wouldn't fast. it? Imagine it. You know, you just, Sam, you're in the shot put. Dave, you're in the 200 meters butterfly. You know, a letter comes, it just tells Ooh, you what you've I got. Mean, that's, I mean, that's, that's tough, that. That's a tough one. That. I, and you only get a couple of weeks. This notice. actually has got the makings of a good game show. That's and what I, I mean. Think Sam and Dave yeah, with their connections to flesh this out. I think I think they could do it. They I, could be the host. I think you could you could have a show be like the opposite of, of superstars. Mm. If anyone doesn't know what superstars is, mm. a game, it was a show in the seventies and eighties that literally had the top athletes yeah, of the day the of athletes. the day mm. doing stupid challenges. Kevin Keegan. Like, literally, he was the best football in the world and fell off a bike and done all his legging. Mm. Like, it was a like, yeah. um, like, remember, do you, me, you must remember that? Yeah, Sam yeah, Peter Stars was, was on like a gravel track and he, mm. he was the best football in the world. Mm. And his team let him go on a bike and fall off and his leg was ripped to bits because <laughs> So, it'd be the opposite of that. Mm. So, it'd be on TV. Yeah. It would just literally be mm. you sign up for it, but you have no idea. Then the letter comes in the post. Mavis, 68, doing the shot put. Yeah, that's it. Let's You've got to do it. do it. Let's do it. You've got to do yeah. it. You've got to do it. And also, if you did it for long enough, the law of averages said at some point during the Olympics mm. or this, this game show cycle, someone would win like one of the it'd be like Rocky Balboa wouldn't yeah. it this unknown yeah. mm. look Edna mm. was that the name Edna I like Edna yeah. 68 I've got, I've got an anti Edna get it in you're an yeah. anti Edna does that mean you don't like any no. Edna's that's it that's what I think no. you meant no 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 no, no. <laughs> I have an anti Edna and oh, I'm, I'm oh. actually pro I'm, I'm pro Edna's pro Edna right <laughs> fair yeah. play but imagine it right just on my I think it's a good <laughs> idea think, imagine I'm it you just get it, and it's like, oh, the shit Olympics are on yeah. next week, and everyone's excited. And what would be, what would be like the worst? Like, what would be your way? You get, you open the letter. Yeah. You know, Sam's like, pet. Yeah. You've got the letter. Be swimming. Would it? Mm. You know, we go. I'm a terrible I, swimmer. Because that's two hundred meter butterfly wouldn't be for me. Well, there's a, be see, for there's a there's a lot of me. So that's a lot. That's a lot of energy yeah, to, yeah. to to move. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so anything swimming. But I I think if you got like. Yeah, but you might have a lot of you should you'd the have BBC. a class like like with the people like your. But if level. you got like a hundred people, you mm. could use those hundred people as well for pointless. So it's double bubble, right? <laughs> True. Mm. Double True. bubble. Yeah. Use those people. Yeah. You got a hundred people. You put them over different shows mm. and you do it. So it's like like gladiators mm. and you and you get to you have like uh, mentors. Mm. So ex anyone who's good at any of those sports. So mm. if you get like you know. If you get like you get like uh, javelin, you'll get Steve Backley and all that kind of stuff. Mm. Um, Tessa, yeah. Tessa would be there. There you go. You have you have your you know, and it's yeah. it is it is it's it's a uh, shit star versus other shit star. Mm. So you know, and mm. it's at mm. the end of it, you crown the. Sh- but I just think I th- I mean Sam ought to be your worst one. My worst one would be not dissimilar to that game show that we discussed the other week. Splash mm. any kind of diving because so I just diving. Yeah, I mean I'm not saying that. Sam, you're off the, right the ten way. meter board. I yeah. see, I, I've come. I'd see, land badly and do me necking. No, but clearly you wouldn't be allowed to do that, would you? Why? You know, because you might get hurt. See, what did you do it on? But it's just be funny. Did what? it on that splash? He didn't do a ten meter board. Oh, I did don't do know. The, what's ten do meters? Thirty foot. Big yeah, you, you cannonball. No, but you could do cannonball. Just the stand, just the jump. Yeah. Belly Can flop. you keep your arms? You know, very much like when you're defending and your arms have got to be behind your back. Can you stay straight? And the person who stays the straightest as they hit the water gets the highest score. So I think that'd be good. Yeah. Clearly, you couldn't give Dave's auntie 1,500 metres. Unless you put them all in and it was I walking. Think it's... It'd be walking. Yeah, I mean, to be honest you with you, I, I think it's... Yeah, I don't think it's for auntie Edna. But what if it was, well, what if it was 1,500 you know... metres with a shop, shopping cart? And you got like that was the over seventies yeah. age. Yeah. And you got like yeah. You don't uh, be bracketed. Eight you, people of a certain age. You couldn't put age. like a twenty-one year old you, sprinter in you, with a ninety-year-old. Give them a shopping fella. trolley, you'd and it was just you could, yeah. You'd have different pots, wouldn't you? You know the way you've that they him. do, like for major tournaments, and they'd have different yeah. pots, wouldn't they? And so you yeah. could only be in, and you you might end up being a group of death, you know, with 
with like what, with Sam loads of old people. Or <laughs> well, everyone's over ninety. The creep of death. This is the well, creep of yeah, death. Sorry, yeah. I mean, there, there is there is that way of looking what at it. Are you from yeah. a blue zone? Because if we if made you're this from a blue if zone, we made this international. Years. If we made this international, well, it's the shit Olympics. Exactly. If we made this international, mm. you know, no, at first it'd be domestic. No, it's got to be domestic. And then, it, then every country would do it. Imagine. And then you'd filter all. And that we've in. got Edna, who's filter. the UK entry. Yeah. Related to Dave mm. Vitti, you yeah. might know him as Comedy Dave. Exactly. She's she's absolutely formally known as Comedy ago, Dave. Supermarket ago. sweep style. Just Dave now. Or would would we even would we bring motorized stuff no, into it? No, that's that because the Americans are pissed at. Yeah, because they, they just it. love motorized. They love it. Honestly, no matter what, honest to God, you any age in America, any age. You, bit of if you fat eat, on your ass exactly, and you're in one of them yeah. in Disney. You eat a few packets of crisps a mm. day and three cans of Coke a day. You've got a motorized think... scooter, haven't you? <laughs> And on, on the subject of those, is it always mm. amazing me? Because all it's doing is counterproductive, isn't it? Because the people yeah. that have those mobility scooters, therefore mm. means, you know what I'm going to say, mm. is that they've then got rid of even the slightest bit of exercise yeah. Yeah. that would actually help their situation. Exactly. In the same way that I always think that, you know, that in supermarkets, they have the disabled spaces really close to the door, right? They mm. should have the oversized spaces <laughs> right at the back of the car park as far away as they possibly can so that you're walking about a quarter so of a mile get, to get to the so you're front. Getting some Let's exercise. Go. I don't think that's Again, what this. Hang on, hang on. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's, <laughs> and you're mixing up disabled with people who no, need exercise. No, I think exercise? what he means is, I think what no, they I'm saying. talking about. I'm talking about special places. Sorry, special spaces for. I was going to say special people. That sounds wrong. But yeah. you know, special places, special spaces yeah. for particular types of people, right? It could have obviously. You Dave, put you disabled could have said, ones near the door. Yeah. You could have said mother and baby the spaces. Oh, mother and baby spaces can people, piss off. I'm parking in them every time. I That's don't care. Left. Just because I don't have children, sod you. Or oh, a disabled fan. Okay, I've got a blue badge. That's different. But if, you, uh. if you've got a baby, no, you're not having that. And you've, why can you need all that room? You don't need that big car just because you've got a child. Lots of people yeah, but live the thing their is, though, lives. Oh, no. Ped, if you... If you if you take your mum with you, then it's absolutely fine yeah. because you are mother and child. That's no, not going to happen. See, you could. Yeah, it's not happening. I I'm I'm, I'm feeling the shit Olympics. I yeah. think there's something in this. Isn't I there really an idea do. you could do like an Olympics, but like instead of having like the traditional sports? Because Ped mentioned about pushing the shopping trolley. That'd yeah. be yeah. dead funny to see people race, not like supermarket sweep, just racing mm. around this mm. supermarket. Mm. But yeah. have all the like day to day tasks that you've got to do. So like. Packing the bag cleaning. of Aldi as they as they lash it down. Oh, okay. Matching up mm. the Tupperware lids with all the Tupperware pots <sighs> in your house. That's all I'm talking like real. Oh, but that's that. good. That's good for cognitive yeah. um, test, though, isn't it? Being able to do that keeps you sharp. You know, you want yeah. the brain, your prefrontal for cortex working. Cortex. Don't get my god. Um, no, oh, that'd be good. What other ones? How quickly you can scan at a self service. Big, well, if you're in Aldi, obviously big bar. You get like codes, a 50 pound shop, which in Aldi is about three weeks worth. Mm. And you're in beep, Tesco, beep, it's three beep, things. And see how quick you can do it. I mean, you know, how about, how about this? You know, the hard, you know, the hardest thing about the Aldi self scan, which I noticed the other day, it's not so much about doing it fast, right? Mm. I mean, I personally, I'm one of the, I'm a traditionalist. I like to go and I like to have the, the, the person there mm. actually scanning it for me, right? Okay. I don't like self scan. I also, yeah. I think it contributes to unemployment. But anyway, that's no, by the by. But the thing that Dave, I really don't Dave, like. Also, why, when I go, I mean, it's just the quick one we will go back to but self-scanning mm. why when i'm going to do my shopping have i got to do someone's job as well no exactly this is this is my point go on people need jobs it's a they society, do. Yeah, that, mm, of course mm. you do anyway but mm. the thing is that when you do the self-scan you've only got right You've got you've got the the bit that weighs it where all the stuff has to go. Now, yeah. if you're doing yeah. a proper weekly shop, as in you've got a, a trolley load, if you're doing mm. a basket, it is easy. But if you've yeah. got a trolley load, you've got to do the game of Jenga because you've got to somehow try and get everything from your trolley into a space that's about that big, right? Mm. So it's all about how you stack it. it is. It's got to go within those sort of plastic perimeter yeah. of the mm -hmm. whole thing. So you've got to yeah. put the heavy stuff at the bottom and all mm. the and try and balance it all. I can't be asked with that. Why can't they just have the woman that would do it for, or the, or the man that would do it for? I'm you? I'm sure they would. I don't think if you're doing a big shop, you should go to the self service. That no. feels slightly, that feels slightly wrong. 
Mm. See, I'm in the other have opinion. You... I, I like to sell service because it means the people are on the shop floor keeping the stuff ticking over and keeping... Yeah, but and... people used to be on the shop floor. No, people... in our... no they didn't. And no, it... the tills. No, and that's, the that's, tills. Not, that's not in Aldi. That's not how it works. It's never been the thing. I mean, I think yeah, it in a big... No, not in Aldi. Yeah, that's yeah. how it works. In Aldi, you get actually rugby tackled by them trying to restack the sales. Yeah. They just don't care about the customers, which, fair play, they just keep the prices low. But, like, I'm just trying mm. to pick a banana out and someone comes and, like... <laughs> <laughs> Too that's tackle. not even a euphemism <laughs> no no it isn't but what else come on like i like that dave i was waiting for it what else then so we've got we've got I, doing a weekly shop how quick can you do that i've got a very specific one baz if go you on. want yeah go on so mate. uh yesterday my wife was she started selling clothes on vintage oh yeah, yeah. so mm -hmm. yeah i had to go up to the shop with this vintage package for yeah. it which I've never done before. And this package, okay. the way it works is there's no address on the package. There's no, there's mm. nothing on the, it's just a package yeah. with nothing on. And you okay. take it to the shop and they scan this QR code and then they put it in some box and it Back magically web. appears at this person's house. So okay. I, my confidence is low anyway. And then yeah. there's a queue and then the QR code doesn't print out and it gets jammed in the printer. Oh. No. And everyone behind me is just losing the rag. And I yeah. think... <laughs> What's that that quote? If you can keep your head up yeah, while well, all around you lose yeah. it. Ah, yeah. well, I, well, I didn't. I just got off. I went, ah, oh, don't worry. I'll tell my wife. And I went home. And she Sam, I can human. add to this. <laughs> I can add to this because actually there's a better game in in, in the vintage world from this because uh, some my wife is also banging to the vintage. It's like, I think it's uh, it's like almost like a become a, a computer game. For some women, mm. the whole proceed they don't not even ask what the stuff they sell. They get about a pound for, for it, mm. but it's more like the the the, the little hide you get yeah, from like selling, mm. and then but she she puts it in one of those automated parcel bin uh, uh, lockers where systems. the door oh, yeah. comes yeah. open. Yeah. So it's yeah, like yeah, yeah. which door? So it's like mm. you do it, and it's how fast you can because you don't know which it's door. A bit like on, on on Amazon, you're kind of going, is it going to be up there yeah, or down there? Exactly. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, I, I yeah, like yeah. that idea of how quick you know. You, yeah. I think some uh, you see the Formula One drivers doing it, no, the reaction Football test service, don't they? Uh, again, mm. cognitive. So mm -hmm. I, I I think that would you, that would be a, a, so that could be one. That could be one. But, but that would add on to. Mm. That that would just be a separate category from the one Sam's already suggested. There'd mm. be like two versions of it. One was, can you cope? How do you cope in this in environment? Fact, and then you move over to. So maybe it'd be like one's a long jump and one's the triple jump of the same sort of thing. Oh, okay, the same kind of space, mm. but you're doing differently. Because yeah. you couldn't have ones that are. They'd have to. They've got to be definitive. You couldn't have like Hoover and a carpet, could you? Do you know what I mean? Mm. You couldn't really because you'd have stuff on but it. You but could you could have, have a like, Hoover. Oh. But you could have Hoover and a car. Because there's so many different little pockets and that's and judging. Mm. I'm still left with a mm. judgment, aren't we? Whereas if you're if you're in Aldi packing mm. bags, say, or scanning yeah, yeah. a thing, you, there's a definitive. You've got their first. Yeah, head. but you, boxing in Olympics is as a it's judge. Subjective, yeah. It's subjective, so you, there's always room for subjectiveness. That's you could argue whether the natural yogurt was already punctured before you put it in the bag, or whether you done that by mm. stacking the wrong tins mm. on top of it. Yeah. Yeah, mm. I mean, yeah, yeah. There is, there's things, things you it. haven't thought about. Mm. <laughs> they are things. These are things I haven't thought about. And what's good about something like if we? I think Aldi is a big part of this, or Little, or whoever you go to. The good thing about an Aldi and a Little is, is that some of the competitions they are in, you could actually find the equipment for them in the middle aisle. The middle aisle. The yes. middle aisle. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's also yeah. big. That's cool. so, yeah. so you could actually, you could actually start find your canoe mm. and then try and get round the shop with in it. What about if? <laughs> Part of the has anyone just, just, just sorry, just quickly on, yeah, on that on. subject, has anybody, has anybody heard that Goldie looking chains the middle of little yet? Yes, it's it's oh no, yeah. it's, it's tremendous. It's, it's, no, honestly, it's really it's good. It's one of those tremendous. listen to about three or four times because you yeah. don't get all the lyrics on the first go, mm. right? And then you have to listen to it again. And you hear something else. It's really good. I'll send it to you. I've written it yeah. down. It's it's uh, almost it's just better than than dry rope, which is also one of the, a fantastic mm. song from Goldie. <laughs> dry rope is just brilliant. Have you ever seen someone walking around in a dry robe and you just think, what the fuck are you What's doing? What's a dry robe? What are you do you doing? know where people who swim in the sea and they get out and they wear those big coats? Yeah. And it's like, it's like almost mm. like a towel on the inside. Right. Uh, so basically, yeah. it's you're wearing a towel, see, yeah. but people have started wearing them in the streets. So effectively, your coat mm. is a big towel. I just think, imagine yeah. the smell after walking around in that for a few hours. <laughs> it's a big towel. You go into some shops in town with the heat up. Jesus Christ. Put a proper coat on, a fucking dry robe. Yeah. It's for people getting out the sea. I what feel like, doing? what about the shower? You know, 
Could you, you could could wear you it for the shower if you want. It's, it's literally a dry rope. There you go. You know, back to the future when they keep saying that Marty's wearing a life preserver. Yeah. Because he's from the future. It's like that, isn't it? It's yeah. like the next iteration mm. of that. Yeah. So Why do people do this? So people... But now it's become a fashion thing and there's people yeah. walking around and there's like camouflage versions. Oh. So not only so do they can't even think, see them, but I can't see yeah, them. The irony being, you can see them, yeah. <laughs> I don't know where the smell's coming from. Head. <laughs> Just their bouncing. But this where is what happened with Oaks. Read. This is what happened with Oaks, though, wasn't it? Oaks were yeah. slippers in Australia, weren't they? And then people got them over in, wore them outside, and then the next one <laughs> people wear them. And they evolved with that, of course. And officially you know. they had to evolve. Yeah, can we start there. a fashion it's trend slippers. then? A Toffee TV fashion trend? Can we just, because we could be the instigators, because, you know, people mm. want to dress how we dress, I'm sure. Of so so what we could wear. We, we could put underpants on on the outside. That's or, not a Superman. But we'd look like Superman, Superman. we'd be yeah, copying well. Superman. Mm. Come on, Sam. <laughs> I'm Wonder Woman. So well, maybe course. we could wear maybe we could wear all of our clothes to front a bit like Chris Cross did. Uh, was it Chris mm, Cross? Chris it was Cross, yeah. Yeah. Chris Cross, but he Cross, died, yeah. so we can't Absolutely. do that. Yeah, yeah. but not in, Chris in, Cross because he did him. sail it. He did do. He did half a stream <laughs> as well. You know. I'm, yeah, I'm yeah, he did. Chris, <laughs> you don't. We, by the way, we don't talk about him enough, do we? No, 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 no. we don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's yeah, there's things you've got to leave. My know, sister went to see him in the Philharmonic and walked out literally really? after he played. After they done Arthur Stream, wow. she was like, "That's enough for me." I've seen wow. it. <laughs> I've heard half a I'm done that. now. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm done. done. And I can get out before it <laughs> beat the cues. Yeah, the beat, the, beat, the beat the cues. Beat the cues. Get out. Get away. It's like match traffic for <laughs> Chris Cross. Chris Cross will make you jump, jump. Daddy Mac. <laughs> the, you know. Mac Daddy and the Daddy Mac. Mac Daddy and the Daddy Mac. I mean, we, then yeah. we go to Diddy, then we can't have parties. But we've got to leave that one alone. Yeah, yeah now let's not get into Diddy. No, because what I'm it, saying. Yeah. Then there's a family living under the Don't get into Diddy because then Diddy might want to get into you. Well, it's apparently so, yeah. You know, what's and listen, on this, on this, on this really positive high, I'm going yeah. to have to go in a second. And it's not just because we started talking about Diddy. You know, it feels I had like to go anyway. I've got, <laughs> no, I've, like, I've, I've got an appointment in uh, in four minutes or well, six minutes. But I need it's to, this becoming a bit of a cheap day for you know. Yeah, on the guys left. Is this, is this what, what? I thought yeah. you were leaving to have a tooth appointment, mm. but you've already had that. You no, know, I know the tooth appointment was at ten. Yeah. Oh, this is a different appointment. There's probably work. This is a this is a oh, this is like oh, a work, work meeting. Okay. Yeah, it's it's one work, o'clock. Like, there's yeah. not much we can do about yeah. that. Actual work meeting. What do we oh, do? Sorry. Should we should we should we just end the? Pod? I think no. we just end the podcast because it's been such an incredibly good one. Yeah, I, yeah we don't want to. We've revived the career of Christopher Cross for a start. Yeah, he'll make you jump, mm. jump. I but what about? Will. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, what about what? Not, not. Many won't anymore. I figured out what to nickname my two testicles as well. The da- the <laughs> Mad Daddy Mac and the Mac Daddy. Why wouldn't you? You had to be there first. Which one would be the right one? Oh. I think you'd have to mm. go alphabetically, wouldn't you? So Daddy Mac would be on the left. My left, not your left. Not that you should be looking at them, but... I mean, I'm just looking at... Just We are going to go now, Dave, but on our other screen, Ned's got a picture of you with what looks like a cup of tea, is it? Me? Ned That's doesn't why? Yeah. Yeah, I don't yeah, know why. No, because what he's doing is oh, okay. he was setting it up in case Dave left. Oh, so okay. he'd have a Dave save oh, screen. Oh, I, I see. Like but it. no, you should create. You uh, should create, I think, and this I think is a good place to finish it. No, the little get the old BBC Two test card of the little oh, girl. Yeah. Maybe mm. we could get one mm. of them, but with mm. Dave as the test card. But Dave's always here. Dave's mm. like the But he was just said he was leaving, no, but it's I very got it off rare. A website called Who's Dave? Right, do you know what 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 we could do though, and actually we could do yeah. this for all of us, is just re- record a few generic we used to do do this in yeah. radio land at one point okay. we record a few generic lines in case somebody's mm. either not there or late right and then yeah. you can just kind of throw <laughs> them in you know so you know for, for example i don't know you could have something like you know bass could ask me what i thought of the match on saturday and i kind of go yeah it was great you know it feels a lot better having had a win or mm. option b oh it was okay we drew oh it's dreadful because we lost so when you put in those different things and then we actually wouldn't need to, to be here yeah. every week anyway we Web- could actually have it all automated with the little webcams thing. webcams start- have ruined radio Dave, they've ruined Razio. He's starting mm-hmm. to go down the bush yeah. route here. Yeah, it sounds it feels like oh, she's done it. Oh, come on. And right, I've got to go. I've got a meeting. Can I just throw bush? <laughs> let's just throw bush under the under the under, under the, the bush. Under the bush. bush under the bush. That right. Be a good so game. hang on. He hasn't got time for us, but he can waste his time drawing fucking cartoons of people he doesn't like. But he hasn't got time for us. Maybe we'll be appear with on the sh- cartoon with his shit tash. Fuck yeah. Maybe we'll be on this cartoon. Right. On that note, let's leave it there. Thank you, boys. 
Thank you very Thanks, much. Thanks, fellas. You, you I mean, can't even see. Thank you very much. Baz, I mean, I'm literally yeah. in the studio, yeah. and Ned just yeah. took me off. It Brilliant. Took Brilliant. Out. Right, Sam, nice one. Take care. See you, Dave. Bye. See you, everyone. Like, subscribe, do all that. See you later. Bye, bye, bye. Bye.